Hello ladies and gentlemen, remember when I made that video saying that I would be able to do let's playing if I was able to get some money sooner? Well that money came, and so since I figured that I might as well do things with that money, I decided to buy the Game of Thrones Telltale series games. This is a real fun series, and to be honest, I've bought every one of Telltale's games up to this point. In fact, I bought The Walking Dead like three times. Uh, PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for Telltale's. Either way, this is your host, That Creepy Reading, and today I'm going to be playing through the Game of Thrones, as you can probably tell by the name of the video, but very quick, let's continue. Alright, um, there should be another video as soon as I get another donation with the Telltale series, A Tales from the Borderlands. Till then, let's begin episode one! I said begin it! What? What? No. No. How does this... There we are! It's working! Yes! We have achieved the awesome. For thousands of years, House Forrester have been loyal bannermen for House Stark. In the darkest reaches of w Wolfswood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now North has been ripped apart by war, and rival houses seek to claim Forrester ironwood for themselves. And the fate of Forrester hangs in the balance. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this right. This is actually my first attempt at doing a live, well, not live, but, you know, pre-recorded commentary on any sort of game. Well, it looks like they're having a magical time. Brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he done it himself the way he tells it. Uh. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself. I don't like that guy. The guy that I was just talking. I don't like him. I think he has diabetes in his fetus. Make sure it's spotless. All right. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. What is this? Blood. Oh, oh, that's that's new. And I see some ah, clipping. Sword. I don't I'll like clipping. You. Oh, what the hell? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if oh we're being shit. Honest, um. Just I will see. I will. You'll see. Of course, your lord. Everyone's British. After you take your rightful place. People are probably road. gonna get mad at me for I saying that. Handy, you know. <laughs> and in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Alright. I don't like this guy. Let's shut his face. Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. Hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Good Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. All right. Um. I'm just gonna do that. I don't really need to piss anyone off. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Oh. You are a nice old man. I like your face. He's, he's he's not making me do the wine. Oh my gosh. I don't have to be a servant maid for the rest of this. Proud so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. Hey, can you guys uh I'm pretty sure some of you guys watch Game of Thrones. What is the Kingslayer? I've no quite idea. Um, I, I remember there was, I remember it vaguely, but I, I didn't really watch all of Game of Thrones. The Rob Stark, the King in the North, the, the King, King of the North! Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, 
and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods of Fabulous. Onward to Castle Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Aye. Aye. <laughs> Winter is coming, my friend. Ah, uh, I remember when that was a meme on the internet for quite a long time. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. All right, magical and beard man. <laughs> yes, my lord. There's also the question: What's to be done with you? Well, I could stroke your beard, but I don't think you would like that. So I have done nothing. I've done nothing wrong, my lord. Right or wrong, that is for the gods to decide. You've served House Forrester well for several years now. Can I stroke your face? You to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Can can I? I want to stroke your face. I'll fight for you. And then while you're on the ground, I will I will stroke All your face. Question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. I don't know why, well but I just kind of want to rub his beard. There's something the about it. Has paid off. So I'm no longer a squire? As of tomorrow, no. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Alright, so, the recap. This guy doesn't want to be a squire. Magical asshole beard face, who doesn't quite have a beard, who looks like a retard, apparently doesn't think I can fight. But I think I can. He, I think I can fight. You know what? I'm gonna tell him he owes me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Oh, Joe, the irony in that. I am not a squire no more. But instead, I'll be stroking that guy's face with the magicals. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk. Liar and an arrogant prince. Okay, I don't give it's a your shit. Job to do the work and stop complaining. You try squiring for Nora and see how much you like it. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. I guess we are different. We're not different, you and I. I, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. Oh, the irony. Oh, I know. I'm not a squires. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. You'll get that. Oh, I shall Just give you yourself. some Maybe if my dignified forest, help. Sir, I feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? It's right over there. Oh, how spray. Oh, <laughs> red wedding. I have the feeling this is not going to be good. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. I got promoted, you dumbass. I should be fine. Not that he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Oh, wait a minute. Is this is this taking place on the night of the Red Wedding, oh, where everyone apparently gets boys, killed? What? What's wrong? I'm almost 95% sure that everyone here is going to die. Magical beard man is gonna die. I'm calling it right now. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? 
Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. We have to warn the others. Good luck. Ha! That guy. That guy, he's dead. I never liked him. I don't like his face. His face needs work. See, now, oh my god. Oh dear god, they're killing everyone. Oh, oh, fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. We gotta save Magical Beard Man now. This has to be done. Oh no, that's not Magical Beard Man. Although his beard is magical and lusciousness, it's not as luscious as White Beard Man. Oh, whoa. That is Lord of Rings right there. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, what is this? Am I gonna have to press Q? Press Q. Come on. Hey, there we go. We got it. We got it. All right. All right. Oh, Beard Man, I think. Oh, is that Beard Man? No, that was not Beard Man. Run like a biatch. Uh, you know what this calls for? A magical unicorn. If only I had one of that one. Oh no! Jesus Christ! Oh no! Where's Legolas when you need him? He can save my face and he doesn't have a magical beard so I don't have to refer to him as Magical Beard Man like I have done for about half the people of the series. Oh shit! I didn't press down. I didn't press down. All right, gotta crawl. Oh shit. One thing you'll notice about a lot of these games is that there's a lot of QTD events. However, that's not why you're playing this game. You're playing it for the story, which is why I'm trying my best not to talk over people talking. Oh shit, no! Don't want to run over that guy. Oh. oh, what the hell? Oh no. Oh no. I'm pressing Q. My ability to press Q is not working. Oh no, oh, oh dear, God, God. That, that guy got it in the face. Oh, what the hell? I, I said hi to him and I got him killed. Damn it, Legolas. No, Legolas. He had a magical beard. If only I could have saved him. Don't talk to that guy. Dear God, when you talk to people, you kill Legolas. Got it. Did you find Roderick? No. I I tried to save him, but Legolas, he's dead. I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Legolas is dead. He will no longer shoot bows into the faces of orcs. You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I, I had to leave him. I had no other choice. Find okay. He's mad. I left. I left magical stupid face. Must get that sword. Oh shit. No. Get the damn sword. See? See, his magical bearded face saved my life. God, magical be- Oh! No! Magical beard man! Go, my lord, while there's still time. Beard man. We gotta go. Oh, shit. Oh, I feel so guilty. No. God, I told you he's gonna die. Got to keep moving, Beard Man. No. No, Beard Man. Oh God, Beard Man. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. 
fall into the hearts of those traitors. Oh. I'm sorry. I'll do as you command, magical bearded man. I'll do as you command, my lord. Please, beard man. Say hello to Gandalf for me. <laughs> the great beyond. I miss Gandalf. Tell, Tell Gandalf the gray. Tell Stroke his beard for me. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. The North Grove, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. I'm in your honor. You must do this for your house. Go. Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters. Beard man, you can stop him. We love no, beard man. No, shit. I liked him. Oh God. Fucking hell. Okay, I guess that's Game of Thrones for you. You get attached to a magical guy with a beard and then he dies. This is bullshit. This game is ruined for me now. Not until Magical Beard Man comes back as a magical mythical elf. We, I mean, like, we lost a Legolas. We lost a Magical Beard Man. I mean, I don't even know what to do anymore. Oh, this is kind of cool. Isn't this, like, the intro from the actual show? But it's done differently. I remember the show being slightly different, so I'm assuming that Telltale's did their own thing. But God damn it, that is distracting me from Beard Man. Beard Man will be in our souls, just how, just like Kenny's boat. I miss Kenny's boat. So we got we got trees. Is this how the universe like works? Do do does does things pop into midair and? work like a mechanical babio. This kind of remind me of the Dwemer from Skyming. Skymin. Okay, from... Okay, iron from ice. Okay, I got it. So, am I going to... I probably sound like an idiot, but I miss Beard Man already. Um, where are we going? To the Great Wall of the North Areas? Or... I'm assuming I'm going to this Grove place, but I don't know... The only thing that wears heavy on my heart is my mind, and that mind is consumed with nothing but touching that magical bearded guy's face. I'll never be able to do it now. He is talking to Gandalf the Grey. The Grey one, not the white one. We like the white one. Apparently that's racist. I will shut up now. The cat. If only I could grow my own- Oh shit, there is blood here. There is blood. Lord. Now. If only I know where it came from. I, I just... Do you think Beard Guy could have survived, guys? Let me know in the comment section, because I really want to know if Magical Beard Man will live. Oh. I actually was almost persuaded into not doing a Let's Play because of um, that new South Park episode. If you saw it, it has to do with PewDiePie. That's all I gotta say. It was hilarious. But nonetheless, I decided to do it because That's you guys awesome. keep on requesting it. Oh. It's very gloomy, I noticed. This. <laughs> oh, cussing. Oh no, piggy! The three little pigs are pissed now. I'm telling Big B Wolf on you. Hiss! Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off! My land. This is Bolton land now, boy. What? Lord Bolton is the new warden of the. Uh, uh, Bolton. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. Your face doesn't have a be. Oh shit. His I'll beard. Have that sword, boy. Come 
get it, you bastard. Oh god. You killed that guy and he had a magical beard, you son of a bitch! I'm gonna kill you. Oh no. Oh fuck. Finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic. Oh no. They took my only means of self defense, except for that pitchfork. You really are a pig farmer. <laughs> Alright. Alright. The game feels like it's running at a really weird frame rate, and it seems like, I don't know, it seems like there's heat lines everywhere. I don't know. It seems like the game's kind of, I don't know, lagging or glitching along. Oh, what the hell, my leg! Your beard is not as powerful as mine is, and therefore you cannot kill me. It takes ten men to kill someone like me, except I'm, I'm more like two because oh shit, you have two men! No, 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 no! Mercy, please, I beg of you. I, I have a family. Wait. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I Your beard. You. Your beard. It's all right. It's magical. I will leave you. I chose to give you mercy entirely based on the fact that you have a magical beard. Know that facial hair saves lives out here, you know that. That much I promise. You son of a bitch. Oh my god, you have a magical beard, daddy. Father? What could have done this to you? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. Oh, she hid. Oh, God. I have a sister, apparently. That's I terrible. I to stop them. This is legitimately sad. I'll kill the men who did this. I will kill any man, unless they have a beard. Oh my gosh, is that a drawing? Yeah, that looks like a drawing, not a... It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Alright, I just want to let you guys know that this will be split up into 30 minute segments so that you guys can enjoy this kind of as a series or something like that. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. <sighs> I feel guilty. Apparently they killed my sister. Deep, but I should be able to save your leg. I thought back then, if you, um, had issues Some with legs, they would just cut it off. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh. Oh, 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 no. Oh, 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 God. That looks, oh, oh, no. That looks painful. Oh, oh, God. Days, I fear, to 
lose the Lord of the House Jesus Christ son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Oh Jesus Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrest <coughs> was a good man. And poor Roderick. Does that happen on the show? Would have made a good lord. Oh Roderick God. Lord Forrester. We can avenge them and attack our spread. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, oh, God. I'm prepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. What's he doing? Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. He gave me a message to deliver. A message? About what? Oh. What did he tell you? Um, it's for my uncle. Get my uncle. Must. I was told only to tell him. Your uncle? I see. Must be rather important then. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Oh god. There are maggots in there. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Or I feel guilty. All right. All right, let's see what's um in here. We got a chair. It looks this you know what this reminds me of? Um for those of you who played Skyrim, this kind of reminds me of Falkreath. Okay, let's see this window. The Ironwood Grove. The gas. The glass looks pretty nice, I guess. I hope this uh finally turns out all right. Oh god, I just can't stop thinking about the freaking maggots. If only we could have saved a magical beard man, he would have been able to protect me from getting maggots like in my penis. Okay, let's show my sword. It's a good thing you've done bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Wow, oh, medical supplies. Um, okay. Ooh, hello, Bucket. Mind if I essentially touch you? Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? Oh, those are the maggots, goddammit. Oh, goddammit. Okay, what else do we got? Healing herbs? Um, that should definitely help out. This mile. Oh, I just completely took that. Fuck you. Okay, let's right click to back out here and um let's talk to this guy. I wanna Does your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I touch your face? Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Oh. Who is the new lord of the house? That seems like a valid thing to question. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. 
At the twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is I wonder what Ethan this? looks like. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm I'm gonna go. I don't care. Never mind. I don't care. You play a loot? What? I I'm sorry, but I have to talk to you about the size of your beard. Because the way it should work is that the bigger your beard is, the no. better you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Alright, um, so I can't really talk to him. What can I do? Mm, I'm, wait, you know what? I think there's another thing I can say to him. That's probably why stuff isn't quite going the way I want him to. Feeling alright? Yeah, um. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Uh, um... Your family... Yeah. They killed my dad. I'm so sorry. You had an awesome beard. Off to bed now. Hurry on. I can't help but notice, but this artistic style I just have to love. The way they do Eric, beards look amazing. How valiantly Lord the hairs and even when all was lost. I just like it. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Well, Saved my life. Saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. Oh, um... Anything. Yeah, sure Legolas, he, he fought very really nicely. He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. And he kicked a lot of ass and shot a few orcs in the face. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Oh, yes, I yes, was. My lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He, he, he said, said he loved, loved you. you. He said he loved you That's and he wanted to stroke your said. face, just as you have done to you his have beard. The this belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Well, there goes my only weapon. This was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royla. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming no coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. I don't like we that guy. Bolton and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. I, an argument you cannot win. Um, we have to be smart. Ramsey Snow will be here within the week. I don't like what that would guy. You do? Nothing. Can you shut the fuck up? Your face looks like a looks looks like syphilis. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you. I don't like you. Can you calm down? Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. Yes, be let's heard. be nice. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Edward Stark was smart, and look where that got him. So, what's to be done? Do people just die a lot in this series? Because this guy doesn't really seem to be affected by the death of his family. Just a boy who can barely hold a sword. 
He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing wrong. wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm I thought the Snows were nice people. Take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. Let them come. I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach so... of the Balkans. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now. The no, I'm not so going to the wall. Uncle, That's where people go. My place is here. Who would defend the house? He said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. You want. I know it's difficult to understand. What the hell? But you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. That settles it. Settles it then. Um, what the hell is happening with the uh, voice okay, skipping? My horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The white okay. will come looking for you. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now. Have house forested. Okay, time first. to tell him this thing that we were told I to tell him. To stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me at the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and, and I at Roderick's side, but. It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. Huh. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me His to final words were, the North Gate must not be lost. The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed. He, um, told me to only tell you. He said tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Mr. Ortengren asked. But I said nothing. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. Hmm? This Don't North breathe Grove. A word of it to anyone at the wall. Become okay. a ranger if you can. It will help. This seems important. I am from ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I will m honor, I guess. Honor. I know you will. Okay, so we got this north boy wait, wait what?
Well, I had to grab it. All right, let's take it. Be safe. Hmm. All right. Huh. Is that it? Guess that is it. Um, hmm. All right. I think that is the um perfect place to end it. Thank you guys for watching my first Let's Play. Um, if there are any audio or any issues whatsoever, please let me know in the comment section below and tell me what is your best moment. The part where we had, like, magical beards in our faces and then everyone died and I became sad. Beardman is now having magical butt sex with Gandalf the Grey in the sky. But only time will tell if we are able to achieve orgasm. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been your host, That Creepy Reading, and expect a Let's Play probably either on Sunday or Monday. Thank you for watching, and I'm signing off.